Time now for our Royal Masterminds Lady Colin Campbell and Phil Dampier and Prince Andrew continues to be a bone of contention for the royal family. And yesterday, Pretty Patel was caught in the crossfire. The Duke has launched a bid to win back his armed security, which costs the taxpayer three million pounds a year after being stripped of his police protection in the wake of pain to settle the civil sex assault case brought by Virginia Dufre. And according to the Sun newspaper, Pretty, Pretty uh, emailed King Charles's top aide suggesting a review of the Duke's protection could be something to consider. But when her approach was disgracefully leaked, presumably by someone in the snivel service which has been targeting Pretty for years, she was forced to apologise for the King. Now, Lady C, I know everyone wants me to be outraged about this, but I'm actually not outraged, OK, because I think Pretty Patel was doing the right thing as a former Home Secretary. She certainly didn't expect this to be leaked. I mean, it's about safety of our royal family. It's absolutely despicable that this information was leaked. Should she really have had to apologise to the king? Well, I don't think she had to apologise, Dan. I think she chose to apologise because she's put him in an awkward position. Although, of course, she really hasn't. It's whoever leaked the information that has. I mean, you know... Prince Andrew has been so, uh, shall we say, reviled, uh, I think rather unfairly, that of course he is something of a target. And you need to bear that in mind. I mean, I can see both ways that because he's no longer working royal, maybe he should have a reduced level of protection. But I do think it was a bit precipitate to strip him of all his protection, et cetera, et cetera. When you, if you stop to think, Prince Andrew fell on his sword to preserve his mother's jubilee. And I mean, that really is mm. what it's all about yeah. uh, in terms of his sacrifice. But in terms of his protection, I think he still deserves some, just not as much as he had before. Phil Dampier, uh, you've broken exclusive after exclusive about the Duke of York. Uh, he will be furious not to have this protection, won't he? Yeah, good evening, Dan. Um, he, he will be furious, but I'm not quite sure why Pretty Patel's got involved with this. Apparently she was chatting to a PR friend of, of Andrew. But uh, as a former Home Secretary, she should have known that security is a, a Scotland Yard matter. And it was a bit pointless writing to the uh, King's private secretary. Not much he could do about it. But it's already putting the horse before the cart, isn't it? Or the cart before the horse. Because as Lady C says, if, if he's not doing royal duties, there's no real justification for bringing back his security. And, and that's just not going to happen anytime soon. Well, um, he's, up, he's up at Balmoral at the moment chatting to the King. I'm sure this subject will come up. But he, he has now got a problem, Andrew, because he's not got a job. He's not got any income. And he doesn't want to go abroad because he's worried about being arrested. So, you know, what is he going to do with the rest of his life? That is the problem that Charles needs to deal with. Well, indeed. Uh, now, look, Prince Harry confirmed tonight he will be in the UK for the anniversary of the late Queen's death on the 8th of September, but without Meghan to support him. The evening before he'll be giving a speech at the World Child Awards, he will then stay overnight before he flies to Germany, where he will be joined by Meghan for the Invictus Games. So, Lady C, no Meghan in the UK, but also it looks like no reunion for Harry with Charles and William, even though he's here for the anniversary. Is that the right decision, Lady C? Well, of course it's the right decision, Dan. Would you would you want to, cla to clasp an asp to your bosom? I mean, why would Charles and William want to clasp the hairy asp to their bosom? I think that's the absolute right decision. And as for Mega not coming, I think that's a brilliant idea. She Let's celebrate. Come, you know, she might be stoned in the street. <laughs> I mean, Phil, maybe she's never going to come back now because it's very telling, isn't it, that, that Harry's going to be here for the two nights, but she's only going to go to Germany. I, I don't think she'll ever set foot in this country again, to be honest. I think she knows how unpopular she is. But, you know, this would have been the ideal opportunity for peace talks, if you want to call it that, for a summit. Uh, it wouldn't have been too much trouble for Harry to stay a few days before the Invictus Games and, and talk to uh, talk to his father, talk to his brother. But it seems that William and Kate are going to be in Wales, according to a report in the Mirror this morning. The King's up in Scotland. I mean, it just goes to show you they're all as far apart as ever. And uh, there's no there's no chance of reconciliation in the near future. I don't think William's ever going to forgive Harry, to be honest. I, I'm, it's very sad to say, but I think those two brothers are never going to make it up.
that they'll never trust each other again. And it's, it's deeply sad. But if, they, if they're not going to make the time to meet up with each other, what future is there? Yeah, indeed. It's very hard to get that trust back once it's gone. However, blood is thicker than water. I always say that stranger things have happened. But brilliant analysis and exclusives as ever from Phil D and Lady C. Have a brilliant weekend. We will speak on Monday. But- 